it don't, it don't matter. Ling into six. All right, man. Um, I would be surprised if six gets a game. I, I wouldn't be surprised if we see a reset, depending on the, like, who, like, I, I think Ling played in the, the matchup incredibly perfect the first time they played, but Six was also getting in a lot. He was, like, what happened was after game two, Ling started adjusting his float time so he wouldn't get hit on the air, like, the up airs the same way that Link, uh, he was before. Now, I think Six is going to be looking for the end of the float a lot more often now, but we got a long haul in front of us for that. For sure, Ling likes to make sure he gets that soap and has to. Be able to dodge a lot of like double in the corner, but then it's a situation with the float. And although, you, you know, we didn't really talk about that first interaction, Ling's one of the few people who is just oh my He's gonna be happy going to die versus six. Able to float away and mm -hmm. avoid the whole corner or back interaction of less six overshoots and to be honest with you, because of how slow the character is, the thing is really hard. Cool. Yeah, and you, you, I mean, you already seen, um, I think it was against uh, Zoo earlier, and Sid. Multiple times where Ling just kind of waited for them to pull the trigger first, get a little bit too button happy at ledge. Then he just floated up, directly put himself in front of them on neutral get up position, and grabbed them. Also, the, the Ling RNG has been insane tonight, too. This is another Saturn. It happened in their set. He also pulled a bomb in their winner's set. Luckily, Mr. Saturn is exiting the building the same time as Ling is on that first stop. <laughs> I was like, you can't be shielding there, man. Like, what are you doing? Six is gonna go for a drive. What did I just right? say, man? Literally, like, man had a bomb before, he had a Saturn before, and then he's got a Saturn into a stitch a second later. This is an RNG, this is kind of nice. I just don't even worry about it. This you know what I mean? Because like, I just know there's gonna be something during the set. Oh my god. I just know. There's never a game where it's like, oh yeah, they're not gonna get it. Yeah, you have, you have to anticipate it. It just kind of... You know, it kind of sucks when it happens so quickly afterwards, but I mean, this game so far, even re regardless, yeah, exactly, it's been like beyond all that, it's been even, Six has been getting in, very consistent uh, on making sure when he gets a punish, he capitalizes, that was almost a stop, he just missed that jump read. And now Lane just prepares to take center stage with anything, just move, does a little mix up options, because it's been really hard for Instant to actually punish him. And a nice revenge here. Not gonna this yet. Yeah, you know he's it, like yeah, I agree 100 percent with Ling right there. It, it don't once he started running in, just kind of back off, get your turnups, try and beat like an early jump or something, get him with the back air. Uh that was an incredibly large amount of hit stun, but luckily didn't kill. However, that one is going to do it. If he's playing in the air too much, you know, Incinera's aerials are going to be the one to kill you a lot of times. Mm -hmm. not really over there. Yeah, not forward air, back it. air. He's just trying to like, look up the lift button. Too close. Too close. Too close. Six is one of the rarest people I've seen literally in the world. Anytime I, like, I see a piece for the turn up on the ledge, most of the time, just let them have it. Because usually they have something planned to get massive damage. You run right up at them. But... Oh, wow! He had the real read, too! That was so good! He's kind of jumping around them, trying to make it look like he was going to go for an early grab, and then he had the read, just missed it. Yeah, barely missing that early shoot there. Part of that's just like, it's just a great parry to save Ooh, the stars. Oh, too! Forward smash, honestly, sweet spot forward smash, uh, a little bit closer uh, to the ledge. We'll kill here at 50, so Link's got to be careful with that. Gets punished for like the this is gonna be Yeah, this oh. oh good answer with the forward smash as an anti-air, but dropping in with the forwarder. Oh no! He's gone for that quite a few times tonight where he's gone for the turn up to throw it at him, but that time, like they're they definitely they're laughing about it. It's like, yo, good call, good call. Yeah, instead of uh, going directly at him, he threw it upwards and catches him off guard. That was very well done. Also, I'm pretty sure the stream has now been taken over in the back there by Guilty Gear. <laughs> yeah. So like another thing there that's interesting, right? Is even though you were saying, yeah, he was looking for that option, Ling adapted. Yeah. That dash attack covers the toss. Yeah, that's what I that's what I meant to say, but like I got thrown off by Guilty Gear in the back, yeah. but yeah. Link, it, like it Ling is either way. Like his mental awareness of the game. Like he's been playing for so long, but his like his ability to understand and break down the incredibly large amount of options anybody can do at any time. Just like, it's not rock, paper, scissors, it's rock, paper, scissors times nine. Like, there's so much shit people can do, and he's always looking to cover something as simple as even just that dash attack on the, on the turn. Like a week these days, just doesn't even go for a redraft or an option. I guess he didn't think it would hit. Like, 
Ling's winky face percentage too is actually absurd. Like if, if you ever watch all of his matches, he gets it all the damn time. I just try not to. I I completely ignore it. I'm gonna be real with you. You know, if Ling gets a turn up, like I don't care what it is, I just know it doesn't matter. I don't let it fade. It's a good way to do it too, because you like the moment you start giving too much respect and paying attention to every single turn up outside of like Stitch, except for when you're off stage, that that won't easily close out a stock. Are you gonna die? Okay. Did y'all hear me earlier when I yelled at Mary Poppins though? <laughs> I gotta get that clip because Zoo literally juggled him. Oh, good roll read. The, the six has been on point with the roll reads. He's just missed a few. That time he hits the mark. Can't get too much off of it. And now look at that. There we go. Even a borderline, uh, yeah, on, like one down tilt to up air away. But turn up to throw. Yeah, I think. You guys start with hand, you don't really have to worry that much about the stuff. So you don't have to yep. be proactive. Well, Link here is uh, a proactive player. A lot of his proactive options are like usually to stay in front. Hey, you ain't making that bad. Fish and auto off stage for Yeah. Link is a soft dude. That's why he's so good against best players and such, usually. I, I, like, I was very surprised that he ended up losing the PK Chris in that set. Well, Chris has been very good of late, and that's uh, no discredit to him whatsoever. But, like, when you can shoot, like, you know. If you're off stage, you're dying to, to be if you're a PK kid. He's like a Terminator. <laughs> he loves it. All of his. He had a full combo video literally yeah. dedicated to Ness. I know. Poor Tony. Uh, Poor Tony. Right now we're dealing with the tiger. Uh, we have to deal with. <laughs> I'm a, a god. <laughs> oh, the revenge on the, the stitch. stitch. That is a. Ma that Ling is dead if he gets hit. But granted, well, not. So yeah, Six oh, has got to make it back to stage he first. He's going to hit him with death. Oh, get up attack doesn't get rid of uh, revenge. I never knew that. Uh, oh, yo, mental Whoa. awareness of a king. Mental awareness of a king. Whoa. Like, <laughs> that was crazy. Like, waiting there, had to turn up in hand, knowing that he was probably going to go off stage, try and go for a ledge trap, or excuse me, edge guard. Like, that's why it's so hard to edge guard peaches in general, because they just float, they wait, and they can act and beat you. Like, and just converting off of that, that was so smart from Link. That was crazy. I Yeah, no, for sure it was completely planned. But, like, that was just crazy awareness. Into, it's not even just, like, I'm going to throw the turn up to counter edge guard. It was literally throw the turn up into the back here to finish the game. Yeah. That's... that's you know, that's why he's next level. You know what I mean? Yeah, magnifique. Like, there's nothing else you can really say. Like, just like chef's kiss. The yeah, way that he controls it. That, that, yo, look. Lane got the sauce. That's so all we got this one. 6 a.m. also has got sauce too. Unfortunately, though, he's pretty much not been able to play the game to show us. Uh, he's been getting bodied a lot here. And I was definitely thinking that he was going to get a lot of good adjustments here. But Link is just playing the matchup perfectly. That was so good. I, I think this is the thing that Lane tries to do, right? He finishes that, when he finishes that game, he, when he gets a little comfy, you he know he's a, like a slow player, but he'll really turn it up when he like, thinks he has your number. And that's yeah. the scariest time, because look at this, right? Yeah, 100%. I agree with you entirely, because when Ling respects you, he's, he's usually he's got a full camping a bit. Uh, he'll hide around center stage, and he'll mostly try to just ledge trap you until he beats you. But if he's got, if he's feeling himself, he will constantly push. Like right now, he's got to stop up. There's no reason There's not to. There's no reason he needs to do this. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, well, I mean, so, I mean that up throw is incredibly <laughs> strong it's too. Good. So I just, yeah. uh, you have to di it out. But like uh, most, like usually around like 125 or so on most characters, you're you're, you're buying. <laughs> Dude, Mewtwo has the coolest up throw in the game. Oh my god, yeah, just re throw. Oh my god, and you know what? You trade stocks. That's actually that's really actually good really good for six. <laughs> I'm trying to look at the player cam. I think it was Link's school thing. At 6 no. a.m., I, I know he's just thinking about this. He's like, this is my chance. Goes for a little revenge too early. No one home for that. Only 35%. That's a really good one. Yeah, I, honestly, like, this isn't too far away. Because even though Peach gets very consistent bread and butter, uh, Incineroar is going to kill at least kill power-wise earlier. But for Ling, he's just been killing off stage regardless. So, like, he maximum conversions. Probably going to be looking for a forward air read soon. Oh, just go for turn up toss. Come beat out the get up attack. It was so hard for 60 to get to center stage. Like, I'm looking at this, and like, he just got that fair, right? Yeah, the whole time, he's just, ah. Uh, 
Oh That's my god. Really good idea. And then the Nair, it doesn't even need anything else that is just going to be a yep. swift 3-0 victory coming in from Ling. Looking incredibly well. 